What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to give you my best class setup for the AK-47. I know these weapons take a long time to rank up. Some of these things some of you guys may not have unlocked just yet. Uh, I'll try to give you some other things you can run with them if you are a lower level uh, on some of these weapons. Um, also, things will change as the game's life cycle kind of goes on. Things will get nerfed, buffed, that kind of stuff. So I will try to make sure I update these. Uh, make new videos so you guys can see what I'm running on these current or you know what I'm currently running on some of these uh, different weapons in game but I kind of want to go ahead and start uh, this series with um, the AK-47 because it is a very good gun and as of right now probably one of the best ARs in game so let's go ahead and hop right into what I'm running on the class first of all uh, the 1911 pistol stem shot Simtex uh, Phil Mike ghost scavenger flak jacket and the gunfighter uh, wild card. You can run something like Perk Greed, or if you do not have Gunfighter unlocked, you can run something else and kind of fix this to work, uh, you know, with five attachments instead of the, you know, all the attachments that come with Gunfighter. Also, if you would prefer to run uh, in the Perk 3 slot Ninja instead of Ghost once you get it unlocked, um, if you're only running, you know, three perks instead of six, you could also put something on like a Sam Turret and a Launcher here. That way you can uh, be able to take care of all that annoying UAV spam. So let's go ahead and look at the attachments that I'm running on this. I am running the Microflex LED. This is not set in stone. I just unlocked this recently, just kind of testing it out. I have been using the three times scope on some of the larger maps. I have also been using the mill stop reflex, which is probably between it and Cobra are my two personal favorites right now in game. I really like both of these on an AR. And if you do not want to run a sight, you can go iron sights if you're trying to get less attachments on the weapon. The iron sights are good. They're just a little bit small for me. Um, I'm just not a big fan of how tiny they are. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to pick out targets at range with those iron sights. When it comes to the muzzle, I like the muzzle break. Um, there's a lot of people that use the compensator. I did try this, even though it does give you 12 vertical recoil. But the con, of course, is 8 horizontal recoil control. Uh, the gun is a lot of vertical recoil, but at the same time, it does have a little bit of side-to-side -side wobble at distance. So I would kind of just prefer to have this muzzle brake on there so I only have pro and no cons at all. You know, just the pro of the 4% vertical recoil control. The next thing is the barrel. That is the one thing about the AK, I guess, that we could say are probably two things that really are the downside. First of all being the ADS speed and second of all being the bullet velocity. A lot of people uh, kind of gravitate towards the takedown barrel once they unlock it because they see that effective damage range being so big. I like effective damage range if I'm running a silencer. I'm not a huge fan of silencers in Treyarch games, so I prefer to run the Liberator barrel, which is 100% bullet velocity. If you do not have this unlocked yet, you can find some other things here that have bullet velocity like uh, the reinforced barrel. You can try it out until you get this Liberator done, uh, unlocked and done, but I prefer the Liberator barrel. Of course, the con is that aim walking movement speed is negative 20%. You can make up for that if you would like with some other attachments kind of down the list. But if you don't prefer, if you, if you don't really mind that, um, you know, aim, walking, movement speed, con, then really, you really don't have to make up for it if you don't want to. When it comes to the body, I am running the steady aim laser. Some people like to run some of the flashlights for the reveal distance. That way you can kind of see names at further ranges. I would recommend if you're going to run one, just probably the mounted flashlight or uh, the target designator, that way there's no cons to them because the other ones start to have cons of, you know, sprint out time, aim down sight speed, that kind of thing. But these are kind of handy. Uh, some of these maps, there's hard to see people. Uh, Cartel uh, included in that. It's one of the hardest maps, in my opinion, to see anyone on. So sometimes this, you know, ability to be able to see some people uh, is, a, is a good thing to have. Just kind of keep that in mind. But I prefer to have this, the steady aim laser. That way I have a little bit of extra hip fire accuracy if I do get into a close quarters gunfight. When it comes to the underbarrel, I use the foregrip, which is just four, uh, 15, excuse me, horizontal recoil control. A lot of people are using some speed grips, uh, some uh, the Spesnaz grip, which gives you vertical and horizontal recoil control. You could do this. Of course, you're going to lose more shooting movement speed of negative 26. So you're going to have a lot of uh, movement speed deductions while you know you're shooting. Uh, that is the one reason I'm just using the foregrip. Now I will try this when I unlock it. But I have used some weapons that I've picked up off the ground that have had this equipped. And you can tell because your, uh, your movement speed while shooting, you cannot really strafe. You're just pretty much like your feet are in quicksand. So just keep that in mind. If you do have this unlocked, you may want to try just the regular foregrip. I think that horizontal recoil control is plenty for this. 
When it comes to the magazine, I use the taped magazine, which is just reload qu uh, quickness. You can go with something, you know, like some of the speed mags or the 40 round mag even. Uh, the 40 round mag is nice. Of course, the reload quickness is, is kind of knocked down a bit. Uh, the 30 rounds, I usually can kill, you know, multiple enemies with the, uh, with, or with, the, you know, the amount of ammo that is in the, uh, just the 30 round mag. And having these taped mags is really nice because you can reload very quickly. Uh, when it comes to the handle, I am using the elastic wrap. Um, a lot of people, you may, uh, may not have this unlocked yet. If you don't have this variant of the weapon, you may not have it unlocked. You can go with the drop shot, which does give you some flinch resistance, or the field tape, which is 90% flinch resistance, which is very good as well. I prefer this one just because it's aim down sight time of 30%, uh, flinch resistance of 90%, and of course you can aim while going prone if you would like to. The shooting movement speed and sprint to fire time is the bad thing about it. Uh, we have a couple attachments here that have that shooting movement speed con. So just keep that in mind. Uh, you may not want to run this for that reason. Now when it comes to the stock, I don't have the stock unlocked that I want. So I am using the wire stock, which is going to give me some sprint to fire time back, of course, that we lost with uh, this elastic wrap. When it comes down to having everything unlocked for this, I think you could go with the no stock attachment, which is going to knock off hip fire accuracy, but give you a lot of that sprint to fire time back. Uh, of course, you can make up for that hip fire accuracy with a laser, or you could go down here to the very bottom. The skeletal stock is what I'm going to be looking forward to kind of trying out on this once I get it unlocked because it gives you sprint to fire time and that aim walking movement speed uh, back. So you'll be able to make up everything that you lost in sprint to fire and aim walking movement speed with this one attachment. Of course, the cons are going to be the hip fire, but once again, like I said, you can run some type of laser to make up some of that hip fire accuracy. And you can make up a lot of hip fire accuracy with some of these, like this uh, five milliwatt laser sight here. So those are just some ideas, like I said, kind of a template for you guys to use for the AK-47. I've had a lot of luck with this setup, but like I said, if you're not a, a, a fan of running all these attachments, you want to run six perks instead, I would recommend that you drop the optic, drop the laser, drop the maybe the magazine and the stock and go with you know one of those or the other uh probably i would say the stock personally so something like that so that way you'd have four or five attachments here and that way you could run your six perks you know change something out with like a you know a perk greed or whatever the case may be that is a pretty good setup in my opinion some people also like to use the suppressor if you're going to use the suppressor i would recommend you change this barrel out to the takedown barrel. That way you get that effective damage range. Of course, that will be kind of making up for that effective damage range you're losing when using the suppressor. Of course, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite uh, kind of setup is, is with the AK. Have you been using the AK-47? Uh, do you have another favorite AR in game? I'm going to make several of these videos in the next several days. So, you know, if you're looking forward to seeing more kind of class setups of things that I'm, uh, that I've been running in game, you'll definitely start seeing more of these on the channel. I said I just kind of wanted to start the series with the AK-47 today because I feel like it's one of the best ARs in game. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you don't all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the Community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.